instant influencer. Instant influencer. Instant influencer. James instant Charles influencer. makeup. Instant. <gasps> Previously on Instant Influencer. Hi sisters, James Charles here, and today I What's up guys? I don't know about y'all, but I have been looking forward to Fridays now. Not just because it's the weekend, it's because when Instant Influencer comes on. Y'all, I did not think that I was going to really enjoy this show. Not because I don't like James Charles, just because I just don't care about makeup. I'm not super interested in it. But this show, y'all, this show had me hooked last week. I am really looking forward to reviewing the rest of the series. If you haven't seen my first uh, reaction to episode one, you can look at that. The link is going to be below. So just to catch you guys up in the last episode um Britney sweet sweet Britney was eliminated but before we get started if you guys are not already following me on my social medias bow and bow you can follow me there I am on my Instagram daily uh don't really be on Twitter like that but if you guys follow me y'all have a reason to get up there and if you saw my first video and you liked it and you're not already subscribed but you're here for episode two go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that post notification button because YouTube does not always let you guys know what I post I should slow down when I talk, but I hate when you guys miss my videos. I really want you to check this series out. I'm having a lot of fun filming it, but let's get started. There were highs, eyes, taste, and edit. Our celebrity guest judge is Paris Hilton. Oh my god! You guys are hot. And there were lows. This looks a little bit more simplistic. I need a little bit of work with the details. But in the end, you have been eliminated. Only one can become an instant influencer. Good morning, you guys, and welcome to Insta Influencer Week number two. James popped in like, what? Hello? Been waiting for you. Did you just wake up? I, yeah, I'm literally like in underwear and everything. Come on, Sister Robes. Get that merch going. Sistersapparel.com. I think that's his merch link. Wondering, what does James have up his little bathrobe sleeve? Because, child, I'm tired. As an influencer, getting ready fast is a very vital skill. You guys are going to be challenged with getting fully red carpet ready in only 30 minutes. I'm really nervous. I have never gotten ready in 30 minutes. So this is just going to be a little tough for me. <laughs> Let's go. Hold them robes. All right. You can cover, up, cover that robe. I see, I see you holding them, them, them pieces together. Your 30 minutes starts right now. I'm running to this Ulta Beauty closet so that I can get the products that I need and go back to my desk and push out a bomb look. I think I'm literally just gonna apply my foundation with my fingers because I do not want to waste any time. Oh my god, gray the house. Oh, please come through with the powder. Okay, so old girl used gray contour. I, I don't even know really what that means or why it's bad for her, but it don't look good and she looked concerned, so so am I because I really like Ashley, y'all. <laughs> I am a pink bitch. I'm sweating so bad. I'm literally just rushing and doing whatever I can to get it done. All right, you guys, we have less than one minute remaining. Oh my God. One minute. Go on. Five, four, three, two, one. Make him down. Benny sticks out the most. He looks flawless. The only thing that I usually don't like about Benny's looks are that his, uh, what's it called? Oh my God, how am I a girl and I don't know what this is called? Uh, his blush is always really bright and I feel like it kind of makes him look a little clowny. His makeup is literally like slayed, laid, and have you made my lunch because I'm obviously better than you. Like, look at him. Yes. I'm literally sweating. I'm like dying. I look over. Ashley looks flawless. Mine looks like crap. Kaylin, no, 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 no. I want Kaylin to come in there with like a boss bitch attitude you know what i'm saying so i was watching the cast members videos about them reacting to episode one and everyone said that while they were doing the elimination kaylin had convinced everybody that she had did the worst and that she was going home james also said in the first episode that she needs to come with the confidence she's such a pretty girl she has not done like a bad makeup look yet she needs to believe in herself because i believe in her you feel me yeah Tell me about this look. I really wanted to focus on making the skin good. I think it looks super good. I love the pop of blue. It really brings out your eyes so gorgeously. 
Hello, sister. Hi. I am known for like being like bright, crazy, and out there, so I did translate that into this look by doing like a little graphic liner and a pop of color. The eyebrows, I think, kind of been a little bit cleaner just in terms of. Yeah, I didn't even do them at all. Moving on to Benny. Hi. Hello, girl. Hi. Y'all, Benny killed this. Like, <laughs> I think Benny got it in the bag. Benny is in his bag. So I wanted to match my outfit because I love pink. It's like my favorite color. And I wanted to kind of symbolize it. The highlight is sending me. Oh my God, y'all. This highlight is sending me and I don't even know nothing about highlight. Lord Jesus. Your inside of your lash is popping yeah. off a little bit, so I would love to see just a little bit more time taking that. Look today. I wanted to do something that was like borderline classic and trendy on the eyes and in my comfort zone. My one note for you is that your contour is looking a little bit gray toned. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay. Yeah, I totally understand that. Everything else looks really, really great. Yes, Ashley. Do yo thing. Talk yo sh. Girl, yes. She, you know what? She knew that that gray contour was a no-go from the jump. So the fact that everything else is like flawless to the T, it's between her and Benny, definitely. So I'm gonna do something a little simple and really focus on the graphic eyeliner and popped in some color and some lashes and did the rest of the face. Two of you guys really, really impressed me. Ashley, I love that you use techniques that you're familiar with in order to create a successful look. Benny, your I look, I think, was beautiful, and this is what Benny we want. Benny and Ash! The winner of today's compact challenge is... Ashley. Hey! Two challenges in a row, baby. Y'all, Ashley, I love how she do that little... Ooh, 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 thing like every time like she is in her bag y'all two two wins back to back she is putting on oh, shout out to the girls who name start with a because that's the only thing me and her got in common <laughs> for today's elimination challenge oh, i'm so excited drag Yes! We can learn so, so much from drag. James is such a pretty girl. Absolutely stunning. Like, the makeup, the look, the aesthetic, everything behind it was kissable. Not like I wanted to kiss him, but it was like, it was that little thing. You, you get what I'm talking about. I really feel like these challenges are uh, centered around things that you really need to be solid on as an influencer. So I really applaud um, the show and the showrunners and the producers or whoever the hell wrote this show. I think they did a really good job choosing these challenges. This is actually like things that they would have to do as like top tier influencers. I wanted to bring in an expert for a little bit of advice. I just got chills. <laughs> Trixie! Okay, I don't know who that is, but <laughs> I've seen different seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race, so I already know this realm of makeup and style. I don't know who Trixie is, but she a bad bitch. All right, so we are on to the elimination round. It's getting spicy as a pepper, y'all. I am sweating, mainly because my ring light is making me hot. The contestants are given the task of completing a complete drag look from the neck up. And because Ashley won the compact challenge, she gets a 15 minute head start and a consultation with Trixie just to make sure like her makeup is looking good. So that is a really big advantage because she can kind of steer her look in the right way and know exactly what the judges are looking for. So Ashley got it in the bag, but we knew that. Wait, that means while Ashley is starting, everybody else will be chilling on the couch, thinking, hopefully, about the look that you're gonna do. This is gonna be the shortest 15 minutes of your whole life. Okay, having a drag legend giving me this consultation is so special. You could get this one or this one, and you could put your hair in a bun, and you could attach it as- Oh my God, those wigs are amazing. These wigs and these laces on these wigs, like, I know RuPaul has a Swiss lace. If you don't know what Swiss lace is, you probably can't afford it, and if you do know what Swiss lace is, you know you can't afford it. Might as well just is like melt Swiss lace into your skin because it is invisible. Woo! Uh oh! Yeah. What wig do you think you guys are gonna go for? I'm going for the pink one. Me too. That's going to compliment the idea I have. <laughs> okay, so, so it's, it's getting real spicy, y'all. Like, we don't skipped over jalapeno, we straight to habanero. So everyone is debating on who should get the pink wig. And right now, Benny thinks that, you know, it would look best with his pink outfit. But you can see in Indigo's face, he ain't going for that. Like, he want that wig and he want it now. He's just looking at him like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna get that wig. I hope you know that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Benny, but I'm getting that pink wig. Period! Indigo, go get that wig, y'all. I already know. <laughs> Not that laugh, like, ha 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 ha. Y'all, Benny looks so defeated. He did not have to laugh at his face like that. <laughs> wig snatched. Literally. Sorry, Benny. Oh, did he just like him? Sorry you didn't run fast enough. I'm going for a very kawaii anime sad girl aesthetic. Girl, I'm really pissed off. I'm sorry, but I really am. Oh my God. What's the next spiciest pepper after habanero? I was going for that wig. Because Indigo took the wig, I have to change my look and modify it. Well, still gonna beat him. Medium deep. I want people to know that I'm not just some smoky eye artist. Like I can also do tough work. I always like trippy things, so I'm gonna do four feline eyes on my cheeks and a pink skin tone. That's just gonna have to do. I'm gonna yes, Benny. Okay, he came through. If y'all saw Benny's audition tape, or if you just are familiar with his Instagram and his YouTube, he does a lot of like detailed makeup looks. He really brought out his inner Bob Ross vibes because I feel like his look is gonna be the best. Okay, I know I keep changing who I want to win every episode, but. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Benny. <laughs> right now, wait, hold on. Have I been calling him Benny? Okay. I, Gabriel. I'm rooting for Gabriel. As soon as I start applying the watercolor, I realized that was a huge mistake. Y'all, I'm so nervous about how these looks are going to turn out, and I'm not even on the show. We all, we not even halfway through the show. Oh, wait, no, no, this looks good. She looks good here. I think she can make it work. I think. More powder, the better. All right, you guys, it looks like you have about. Benny has been packing on y'all. Okay. They have less than an hour and a half, and all Benny has on his face is powder. Just looks like a geisha. That's it. Ashley might take this home. Like, she might be the next instant influencer. I don't know. She, she's been killing it lately. Okay, this is going so. Do I stay here and do I keep trying to make this product work? Don't even look at the clock. <laughs> oh, we is past habanero, past the pepper after that, past the pepper after that. Y'all, Kaylin, 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 baby, I was rooting for you. Y'all, oh, Ashley drew baby hair. Y'all see that? Oh my God. That girl drew baby hairs. That I ain't never seen. I ain't never seen nothing that nice before. Oh, wow. I think I got goosebumps. Norvina looks like a freaking fairy from the goddess forest. Oh my God, she looks good. Well, I've kind of had a drag persona. Her name is Unity. She's like, of everybody here, I thought you were full struggle bus. I was a little. <laughs> I had to start off good, period. And yeah. you know this. Yeah, I made a decision. Dang, they said she was the struggle bus. <laughs> oh God. Full on struggle bus. Yeah, it did not start off good. I hope you know that. You know that. Like, okay, dang, y'all. She pulled it together. Give her a second. I wanted to take it up a notch and just turn myself into a completely different species. Cool. So, extraterrestrial. Yes. She looks like the drag version of Zoe Saldana in Avatar. That, I'm impressed. I, y'all, this show is just, it's get, it gets me every week, and as I watch more and more, it gets me even more than it already had me before. When I saw this wig, I knew that I had to do something that was like very anime inspired, very like kawaii. Like it's cute, but compared to everyone else, it's just very in the box, and I feel like he needs to step out the box. You know what I'm saying? Benny, come on forward. Y'all, Benny knew he killed this competition. Like, this this confidence that he is bringing, I am here for it. Yes. One of my dolls that's in my collection is all full of neon colors, and I wanted to bring that to life. I know that I keep saying that we get spicier as the episode goes along, but we are at full-blown Carolina Reaper Pepper, and I'm from North Carolina, so I think I can attest to this. The judges are doing their deliberations. 
Y'all, I knew this episode was gonna get sassy because we was dealing with drag queens. But overall, each judge had something that they really didn't like about each contestant. So it was really hard to tell like who's in the top looks and who's in the bottom looks this week. Hi Ashley, congratulations. You are the winner of today's elimination challenge. Wow. She is doing it, but we already knew that. So come on. I definitely feel like I am in jeopardy of going home. I cannot go home on a drag transformation challenge. Hi, Indigo. Oh, Indigo! Hey. You guys, he's such an incredibly talented artist and you have to go check him out. Where can they find you? Well, guys, Indigo is... And there were four left. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. If you missed my reaction to episode one, there is a playlist link below and you can check that out. Also, be sure to check out my social medias. I am here as well as here. You can find me mainly on Instagram, but if you guys follow me on Twitter, maybe I'll use that a little bit more. If you're new to my channel and you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And when you do subscribe, because I can't imagine why you wouldn't, make sure you hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. YouTube does not always let you guys know when I post, so I would hate for you guys to miss any of my videos, especially this series. You guys stay tight, and I'll catch you another late night. Bye! Did you like and